Hello, everyone. Welcome to the English devotional from Soldiers of the Cross. Let's begin in prayer. Heavenly Father, I come before your holy presence asking you to forgive me of my sins and the offenses I've done against you. Thank you, Lord, for your forgiveness. Thank you for the promise that you have made to us that if we confess our sins, you are faithful and will forgive us. So Lord, we claim that promise today. Forgive us of our sins, Lord. Help us to walk in your way. Help us to turn away from all wickedness, all ungodliness. Help us to walk in the spirit and not in the flesh. Be with this devotional today. Lead us and guide us. Train us up in your way. In Jesus' name, amen. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Today's devotional is titled, Friendship. It was written by Hernán Oriel Méndez and translated by María Elena Cardona. It was taken from the book Misa de Fe, page 89. Our biblical base comes from Matthew chapter 5, verse 24. So says the word of God. Leave your gift there before the altar and go your way. First be reconciled to your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Amen. May we be blessed by the reading of the scripture. In these perplexing times when most people are more concerned about their own selves than of others, we hear that friendship is becoming a fable. The word friendship does not exist in the vocabulary of some people. Others emphasize the theme, cursed is the one who trusts in man, and the few who express that they do have a friend. Sometimes it is worse than their most horrible enemy. However, something is true. That is it is difficult to find sincere friendship, to invest in it and to protect it, because some only appear when everything is going well, but when there are difficulties, the friendship link is broken. A quote says, in prosperity our friends know us, in adversity we know our friends. If at this moment you have been upset with someone who was your friend, forgive him. Remember that he is your brother, and perhaps in a difficult circumstance he unintentionally said something that hurt you. But it is better to remember the good times you shared and the times when your friend extended their helping hand to you. People like that you don't meet every day. Amen. My brothers and sisters, it is good for us to have friendships. It is good for us to be able to lean on each other, to carry each other's burdens. When you find a friend that is trustworthy, that looks for your good, that helps you to become a better person, keep that friendship alive. Sometimes we have to overlook each other's failings because we're going to fail from time to time. Sometimes there are friends for a season, but they're not meant to be friends for a lifetime. In those seasons, learn when it is that you need to let go and move forward. Not all friendships are good friendships for a lifetime, but my brothers and sisters, when God sends a true friend your way, learn to forgive quickly, learn to focus on the good, and learn to keep that friendship going because sometimes it's that friendship that God puts in our path that is going to help us to walk in this journey. So my brothers and sisters, friendship is so important. Find that friend. Pray about that friend. If you don't have that friend already, pray and ask God, who is it, Lord? Bring somebody to my life who I can trust, who can help carry my burdens and be that lifelong friend. Amen. May the Lord receive the honor and the glory. Once again, we invite you to check out the YouTube channel, SCC English Ministry, for our daily Bible reading. And now we ask that the blessed love of God, the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, the companion and communion of the Holy Spirit, our great counselor, be with all of his children, now and forever. Amen.